The combat deployment test of the YC-14 in June covered 19 bases in NATO Europe and the U.S. A typical profile for the flying demonstration started with an 800-foot takeoff roll and a rapid maneuver turn. The airplane climbing at nearly 6,000 feet per minute is turning at 18 to 20 degrees per second. Turns performed at Pope Air Force Base adjacent to Fort Bragg show the YC-14's ability to stay within a small, defensible perimeter around an assault landing field. The roll rate of the YC-14 was measured at up to 72 degrees per second. The trip was very valuable from a marketing standpoint. Prospective customers were extremely impressed by what they saw. The statistics of the trip were also impressive. Over 70 flight hours, 177 stole landings, seven sorties in one day, less than 16 maintenance man hours per flight hour. The shortest landing recorded in the flight test program was 387 feet in a 21-knot headwind. This landing, typical of those performed on the trip, took approximately 700 feet. The reversers put a downward load on the main gear, which increases braking effectiveness. Backing capability of the airplane is a key feature. The YC-14, with its over-the-wing mounted engine, has a significant advantage in this area. This configuration also contributes to lower noise levels and lower infrared signatures. The requirement to load the M60 tank came along in the last few months of the flight test program. On the first try, the tank went on board the YC-14 in a minute 32 seconds. Standard tactical aerial delivery techniques were also tested at Edwards. Eight A-22 one-ton containers are being deployed in this test. The electronic flight control system results in a very stable platform during extraction drop. Two were made with a 10-ton platform. On the first, the pilot reported less than a one-degree pitch change. On the second, there was a little rough air, and as a result, the pilot couldn't tell if there was any pitch change or not. Heavier extractions are planned for the follow-on program. The original test plan estimate of 400 hours was extended to 601 hours and 31 minutes. This was due to a substantial increase in use because of demonstrated airplane reliability and was within contractual coverage. Dirt field landing test with the number two airplane proved that the over five years of effort that went into this unique design was on target. This 600-foot landing confirmed two key competitive points about the thrust reversers. First, no dirt is blown over the cockpit to obscure the pilot's vision on landing. Second, there is no re-ingestion problem. Sixty landings were made on the dirt field under various test conditions, including simulated single engines. Close observation of dirt field takeoff showed soft spots in the surface where the gear actually plowed a furrow. But the powerful engines and high flotation knee action gear made it look easy. The YC-14 flight test program was well run. The airplane has proven to be a real performer and provided the data needed to make an outstanding competitive proposal on the C-14A.